Hi, I'm John Rowland, and I'm going to show you how to pull out a carriage out of a HT10. So th this is in large part the same as the old uh, LS10. So if you're changing a carriage and retrofitting one of our high tone carriages into an old LS10, it's basically going to look all the same. The, the main differences are that our carriage is cast iron and really had heavy duty and all precision board. Um, and we've got a uh, interlock control box that keeps you from getting sprayed in the face with oil. So basically, when we go to un unhook our box, we're gonna undo our, and I've loosened these up before so I don't waste a bunch of time undoing fasteners. We're gonna undo our switch chain. We're gonna take our four screws that hold the control box on, take those off. And then when you go to pull the control box off, um, basically you've got a couple of leads on the motors. You, you want to pull them apart by the connectors so you don't screw up your harness. So you unplug the motor and now your control box is completely free. And then the next thing you do is you're going to take this motor off. Now there's two set screws, one down here. We use two because two are less likely to come loose than one. Um, and uh, if it comes loose, it's a real pain in the butt because you have to take it all apart just because somebody didn't put enough screws in a shaft. So that takes the control motor off. And now you're ready to take your feed screw out. So there's a, a collar back here. And I loosen that up and a collar here. And now that feed screw is ready to pull out. So this feed nut is interlocking the feed screw right now. So basically it's, it's holding that uh, uh, still now. And I will talk for a minute about how to adjust this. There are two bolts right here that um, when you replace a carriage you, and you put the feed screw in, you want to have those bolts loose and then move it around so it's centered and then tighten these two bolts up. That is your feed nut adjustment. That, that allows it to go to the center line of the feed screw. So to pull that feed screw out then, we're gonna rotate that feed nut enough that, that it allows it to slide, but not so much that we overextend the spring. So I'm gonna pull that out and our, our collars are gonna come off and usually drop down into your saw and now that whole carriage assembly is freewheeling and we're going to take our front and rear bolts out it's slightly more fun to do this on a new unit than on a used one because you don't have the goop all over but it's still either way it's uh, a very simple job particularly on this model because uh, it's not a complicated uh, it's not a complicated assembly now you've also undone the set screws on the rail yeah right? and you have to undo these two set screws likewise when you put it back in you want to do those up uh, to secure your rails this one here is a little tight um, so now this plate can slide because you got to be able to slide those plates to get it out of there. Now I'm going to support it from inside so it's a little easier to turn these fasteners back here. Now the whole assembly is loose. I can turn it sideways and lift it up. And then loosening those set screws, both the end plates can come off. And then your main rails come out. So there you have it. That's the breakdown. It's like, like I said, it's a very simple machine. Pretty easy to take apart and pretty easy to put back together.